Hey, this is Eddie Hill, and this week in my Adobe Illustrator class, we're going to learn how to take shapes and cut holes in them and make them hollow. It's called making compound paths. It's pretty easy. It's a two-step process. First, you draw two shapes overlapping each other. Select them both and go to Object, Compound Path, Make, and that makes them hollow. To prove to yourself that it's hollow, I usually like to stick a shape behind there, send to back, and now you can see that indeed it is hollow. Your shapes could just be overlapping like these shapes are here. I'll select both of these, go to Object, Compound Path, Make, and they are hollow. I can put a shape behind them, or your shape might have more than one hole. A donut with more than one hole. Again, hollow. What if you want to adjust that compound path? Those two shapes act as if they're one, just like when you take type and convert it to outlines. If I want to adjust this, the best way is to double click on it and go into super secret isolation mode. It's really just called isolation mode. Now I can grab this outer donut shape and it moves independent of the inner shape, or I can grab the inner shape and move it independent of the outer shape. When I'm done there, I double click anywhere else to get out of super secret isolation mode. Of course, I can always take the white arrow anytime I want and adjust the paths that are part of that compound path. But if you want to release a compound path, if you wish it were not hollow anymore, I can go to Object, Compound Path, Release, and it becomes two separate shapes again. I'm going to hit Command Z to bring back my compound path. What if your uh, compound paths need help? I'm going to select this shape, make it into a compound path, Object, Compound Path, Make, and what if I want these spots to be hollow? Illustrator doesn't understand. It's too complex. It's not sure what I want to happen here. So I'm going to go to Window, Attributes, and it brings up this panel. And sometimes I have good luck clicking this button right here. Use Even Odd Fill Rule. Now the right spots are hollow. Send that to back, and it's all hollow where I want it to be. Now you know how to make hollow spots or compound paths. Come to class next time, and we're going to make neat stuff like this. We're going to make the ring that is really hollow. We're going to make the pop top that has two hollow spots and we're going to make the cup that has the hollow hole in the handle. I also have YouTube videos describing how I made all three so you can check my YouTube channel to find those. Thanks for watching. See you in class.